what is diabetes? Diabetes is a chronic medical condition uh, where an, an individual has difficulty regulating their blood sugars. Um, this can be a problem where uh, the individual um, does not make any insulin or they make insulin but it's not quite enough or their body has uh, a resistance to it. Uh, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition where uh, the body attacks itself, specifically the beta cells in the pancreas, and therefore the individual uh, has uh, no, uh, no way of making insulin, and therefore in order to treat type 1 diabetes, we need to give patients insulin to regulate their blood sugars. Uh, type 2 diabetes is where um, there is a lesser amount of insulin that's being produced by the pancreas or the beta cells, or um, this is in conjunction with um, the body's uh, inability to use the insulin properly. Um, there's a, a resistance to it. So more insulin is required um, to, to regulate the blood sugar of that individual. So type 2 diabetes um, is a condition where uh, patients may still require uh, outside sources of insulin, uh, but we can utilize non-insulin medications uh, in the form of uh, pills or injections uh, to help regulate blood sugars. Diagnosing diabetes um, can be done in, in a variety of ways. Uh, one of the most common ways to diagnose diabetes is by blood work. Um, blood work uh, can check for blood sugar levels. Um, uh, it could be random or it can be a fasting blood sugar uh, check. Um, Individuals can also have hemoglobin A1C tested. Hemoglobin A1C is a blood parameter, which is basically a percentage value uh, of how much sugar coats the red blood cells. And red blood cells uh, typically live for 90 to 120 days. So um, when red blood cells get coated with um, sugar, we can measure that. If that number is more than 6.4, we can diagnose this patient as having hyperglycemia or diabetes. Treatment for diabetes can vary greatly. Um, as I mentioned earlier, type 1 diabetes um, is, is uh, treated with insulin. So insulin pin can be given to patients in the form of uh, pens or insulin um, pumps are also available in the, in the market. Um, we also have um, insulin that's available for type 2 diabetic patients, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, in type 2 diabetic patients, there are uh, pills that can be used and there are injections that are non-insulins. Monitoring is obviously necessary in a patient with uh, diabetes. Uh, monitoring will be done in the form of blood sugars. Uh, monitoring can be done in the form of uh, blood tests as well. Um, parameters that I mentioned earlier, uh, hemoglobin A1C levels will be monitored by your, your care team as well. Um, typically, we check these um, A1C levels every three to six months. Um, you're, you might often be told to keep a blood sugar log. Blood sugar logs uh, can be um, uh, very helpful uh, when titrating medications or adjusting medications, especially insulin. Um, and, and it's becoming easier with technology now. Um, before we had finger um, poking um, um, uh, glucometers uh, or strip glucometers, uh, where individuals would have to poke themselves and then test using a strip. Um, thankfully, now we also have uh, flash glucometer systems or continuous glucometer monitoring systems available where uh, individuals will just wear a patch um, or a sensor and uh, that can communicate directly with um, individuals' phones that can then be connected online and, and, and share data with, um, with their care providers. Tight glycemic control or very good glycemic control is uh, very important. High blood sugars can lead to a lot of problems. Um, high blood sugars can damage both small and large blood vessels. Um, the blood vessels that supply our eyes, uh, that supply our heart, brain, kidneys can all get affected. Our peripheral nervous system is also very sensitive to fluctuations in blood sugars. And that's why it's very important to control blood sugars very tightly. Um, once patients have very good glycemic control, there's no reason why uh, patients can't live a long and healthy life. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. For further information, you can reach our website at durhamcare.ca. That's it for now.